Welcome back uh, to our show Just once again. Pay attention. <laughs> you know, you said you wanted says. respect and subservience, wanna, and then you walk away. I want to make, sure, I wanna make sure my car was still there. Just before he asks whether we will show him respect today, <laughs> if you have to ask for respect, perhaps that's a step in the I'm wrong sorry. direction right there. Who are you? Terry David Mulligan joining <laughs> us, broadcaster and wine expert, and of course, one fine looking specimen. How I are will, you, I will, uh, I will call you on that wine expert thing. I think a wine expert is Gizmondi and those guys. They spent their lifetime in it. I'm just sort of playing in the pool. You're right. a fan in of the, the wine. Okay, uh, the how about broadcaster and well-known drinker? Thank you. <laughs> is, that, is that better? Where, so where have you been drinking? You've been I SFO? Been, actually, I was in San Francisco for the 20th Zap Convention, Zinfandel Appreciation and Producers. It's a, it's a, all, they're Zin heads. Zin okay. heads, is that what we call it, them? It is the largest single a varietal gathering in the in the wine world. It's ten thousand people in two buildings at Fort Mason, right on the on the water, just by the Golden Gate Bridge. Ten thousand people, so three hundred. However, wines. did you manage to try two hundred wines, Mulligan? Uh, there's a me there's a media tent. <laughs> <laughs> and you he can, looked slightly haunted. And when you can pour to your heart's content. I went A, B, C, and I sort of lingered at C and never. <laughs> it was the rest is like. Well, I was doing was interviews connected. as well, I, uh, and I had you have to be careful. So, you. what is it uh, with Zinfandel? I mean, obviously, California. This is a huge grape for them. Exactly, but the thing is, this is the original grape. When when California was settled, this was the first grape that went in the ground, and for and they and for years it was the only grape grown. And then Cab Sav came along and just blew it out of the water. Yeah. And and so they started Zap 20 years ago because they felt that they weren't getting any respect for their varietal and their grape. Much well, like you, you feel like no respect you. for the thank Zinfandel, you. Zinfandel, no respect for the Mulligan. Is an amazing grape though because it can do a lot of different a lot things. Of stuff. It can be a huge wine. It can be a very subtle wine. And just to prove the point, on the Thursday night they started with a, a, a pairing session mm -hmm. that went on through three rooms. <laughs> it were 50 chefs Good all God. cooking something different to match the Zin that they had. Had. And I was just saying that they, you, you got the barbecue and all the big heavy stuff risotto made with Zinfandel. Mm. On this end, cupcakes. The <laughs> icing was made from a reduced Zinfandel. That sounds delicious. We, what, I thought, no, that yeah, can't yeah. work. But it was, was phenomenal. And the guy who did it was from uh, was from Montreal. Let's look at some pretty pictures, right. and maybe you can well, educate us. Not necessarily us pretty, pretty, but you, you know what we see in the Okanagan. We see rows and rows and rows of these beautiful uh, flowering gr yeah. uh, grapes. This, in fact, is a Zinfandel field. My uh, those goodness. vines are 100 years they look old like or more. Ants. And they're head, what they call head trained. They cut them back, and just the top of that plant will give you your grapes. And when you look at them, you highly it looks, concentrated. It looks like a, a, a horror story. It looks like a war field. Yeah. yeah. And that is that is in fact Zinfandel, which is what makes it so special. Okay, yeah, let's look no at kidding. the next picture and tell us what this is. Well, that's when it's all flowered and you got your Pretty. grapes hanging down. Pretty. So really low yield, but really very big low yield. And all of those fields, actually, some many of those fields were completely forgotten, and things grew around them, and they became junkyards and all that stuff. And so they have a heritage project where they're reclaiming all of the old original 100, 120, 130 That's year old. Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing project. And then they're taking the clonal cuttings from that and they're starting to grow grapes from those old plants and they're going to bottle it as heritage wine. Okay, let's look at the next Love picture. It. What's this? Oh, this is pretty. Uh, well, this is Tierra. This is what I'm going to pour for you today. Okay. This is Sonoma County Zen, Dry Creek. Uh, the owner is Dan Donahoe. And his, Dan's grandmother was uh, childhood friends with Julia Child. Oh, really? And Julia had a Julia big influence on Dan's Child. wines. Very easy drinking. So some of them will be like your Barola, will be like take the top it's of so your big, head off. Yeah, rip it off. This is a mid range Zin, which means it's perfect for uh, food, any kind of food at all. As a matter of fact, in chicken mole, um, mole, mole sauce mole, from Mexican mole. food. Yeah. Any of the Italian the dishes mole. that you want. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Do you remember they asked about it? Mole. Mole. <laughs> you said he'd be like that. I, know. Um, I think so, he already mole, dipped mole, into mole, the Zen. So this is beautiful. This is from Dry Creek, which is one of the 25 appellations that they grow yeah. Zen in. Um, jammy on the nose. Yeah. Sure, jammy on the nose. I'm sure okay, you've already you wine noticed people that. and your language. What do you mean when you're jam telling me it's, it's jammy jam on the nose? It, it smells like, it's like, like strawberry okay. raspberry jam. Yeah, even Maybe a little spices, cherry in there. Coffee, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Underwear. Uh, underwear. Coffee nose, lots of what? berry fruit uh, right in the middle. Uh, okay, this maybe is... a thong. <laughs> Jammy like your underwear. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> now, here's the deal that you should know. Oh, mm. This is what you should well, know. Again, it went up my nose. 
know. <laughs> when this first was uh, uh, made in California 100 years ago, and even 50 years ago, they called it Dago Red because it was Italian. It came from, from Puglia. It's a lovely name. It was name. Primotivo. But originally, this wine came from Croatia. This is a Ooh. Croatian wine. It's unbelievable. It really is. And they've done all the history on it. It's the same DNA, but it's a different plant. Lovely. So this, this is not so much for sipping here with you and I. This is for food. This yeah. is it perfect is for food. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Well, and, and the, I love that they know the history of a lot of these, too. Oh, like and that's what they're idea. doing now. The, uh, UC they're Davis, it. they're tracing it back, and they're preserving all of the old plants. This, by the way, this tiara, just for you who would like to know, it's uh, 30, 31 bucks thereabouts. Not bad. Uh, they're so you can buy the glass at the Fairmont Pacific Rim if you want, or the Blue Water. You go down and just like the try, try by the glass. Nice. So uh, what else is going on with you and tasting room radio and oh, stuff? By the way, what? Joel Peterson. I was doing my radio show, and Joel Peterson, the guy who makes Ravenswood. Yeah, he, like st that he started one. with 327 cases. He now makes. 800,000 cases Whoa. of Zinfandel. Really? Ravenswood. <laughs> yeah, I just went to That's good. So That's your good. question was? Uh, I like sorry, it. who are you? Sorry, Tasting on listening. radio. What's going What's on? What's happening with radio show? What's going uh, on? Where are you well, going? Well, I continue to travel and do, do shows and interviews and stuff and talk to people. And I'm, I have an insatiable uh, appetite for finding out why people are attracted to wine, why they reinvent themselves. I talked to Tom Seaver, the pitcher this morning, the yeah. Hall nice. of Fame pitcher. He's got his own winery down on uh, really? Diamond. Yeah. What baseball player doesn't now? No, right? but I mean, he, he, there's no tours. There's no tasting room. It's he just makes his. 600 cases and For he lets somebody else them. grow it. And he and his buzz is to walk with his three labs through that vineyard at seven o'clock in the morning no as the sun cool. comes up. Uh, and you're hosting him. the Golden Plate Awards as well? That well, the, uh, the yeah, gold medal plates in yeah. Colonna, uh, February 17th through 19th. Nice. Uh, and you're on your way the to... The eight top chefs in the country. You're on your way to Euclidus? Yes, I am. What I'm going to there? Black Rock. I'm going to be um, uh, eating and yeah. drinking okay. uh, and, um, and talking to the chefs there and just getting a sense of what's going on in Tofino Yuki. So uh, eating, you drinking, that's what you do. That's pretty much what I do, much like what you guys do. Pretty Look. much. What eating. do you think? You like it? You like that jammy He's note? He's been quiet jammy for gaunch. three minutes. Jammy gaunch note on that one is a hit, people. That is a Thank you, oh, Terry Dave Mulligan. Oh, you can go to tastingroomradio.com. By Thank the way, you. if yes? you want to look at it, there's a Zap app. Go find the Zap, Zap app. app. It's really cool. I would like it if you'd rub the back as well, please. these infidels. Thank you. Here, let's Remember? all play. Um, no, I'm not, Mulligan, I'm not playing I'm missing this game. You. We're going to take a quick break.